More veterans living on the streets will now get the help they need thanks to a $230,000 grant that the city of Jacksonville just received. Action News Jack's Alicia Tarancon talked with some local veterans on why more funding like this is so critical. We'll get you a cake. A cake. Cake? Yeah. We can't drink a cake. These veterans meet at VFW Post 7909 on the west side every week. Everyone here is like family as they talk over breakfast, bingo, and fellowship. It gives you something to do when you're single again, living by yourself. The city of Jacksonville's Military Affairs and Veterans Department recently announced they received over $230,000 from the Department of Labor to help its homeless veterans. I think it's outstanding. We have too many veterans living on the street that defended this country, and they don't need to be on the street. They need to be someplace living comfortable, at least living under shelter. Last year, the city's Veterans Reintegration Program helped about 90 veterans and gave 78 of them a job. The program's main goal is to help homeless veterans back on their feet. We provide training and job development and career counseling, resume prep, uh, and food and clothing and whatever they need. And for the first time, they're also getting funding for follow-up services that they haven't gotten before. And veterans here at VFW Post 7909 tell me they help out homeless veterans too, and they do it all through volunteer work. This Navy veteran tells us while the grant for the city is a step in the right direction, nonprofits like the American Legion and VFW don't receive federal funding and could always use the extra help. To support the veterans' organizations because uh, they need it. Reporting in Oak Hill, Alicia Tarancon, CBS 47, Action News Jacks.